Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate to you how the IOTA Workshop chassis works. Pretty much what happens is the box is locked. I can't open it without breaking the box itself. And uh, this object right here is going to show me how to interface and open the box. I'm going to use the IOTA Trinity wallet in order to do that. So um, on the back here is a Raspberry Pi Zero, which is running the IOTA software. And to do this, all I have it says send me a refund address. So I'm going to go to my app and generate an address. Take that address. And in the message section of sending a transaction, I'm going to paste that address in. And then I'm going to use the camera right here to, to scan the QR code. So now I have the address and in my message is my refund address. This address acts as the escrow and it will hold my money while I'm using the item inside the box. So I send that and by sending my own address from my own wallet to the Pi, it knows how to refund me my money if something goes wrong and it also knows how to refund me my money once I'm done using the device. Um, once, once this receives the transaction, it will display to me the collateral that I need to pay in, in a fixed fee. The collateral is the deposit on the item's worth inside the box, and the fee is non-refundable. It, it's pre it represents the wear and tear that I'm going to put on the device when I use it. So here we go. The e-paper display is now going to show me the cost of using the item. So I have to deposit 26 Kyoto and it will take one Kyoto as a fee in order to pay for the wear and tear on the equipment inside. So I'm going to use my camera again to scan the QR code. I'm sorry, that's not on, this, on the screen. Okay, so I have the address. So I'm going to switch to Kyoto and pay 26. Confirm. Okay. Once this transaction gets verified by the Pi, by looking at the IOTA ledger, it will unlock the box and give me access to the item inside. Ideally, the point of this is to put tools inside this box so that way um, people can use the tools like a rental or vending equipment service, and the fees will be low compared to maybe like Home Depot or something because we don't need people to check out and, um, and essentially manage the rental service. So by utilizing automation, we can reduce the cost of essentially the rental equipment service. Um, yes. So there's a servo inside attached to it uh, a latch, and that's what's holding the box shut. Again, I can't open it right now. But once this receives the deposit, which it just did, it's going to prompt me to open the box and take the item out. The servo has opened, and now the box can be opened. So inside is a lock picking kit and an RFID sensor. If I look inside the lock picking kit, we'll see that there's an RFID tag in the back. And that's what detects right there. So the point of the RFID tag is that it knows when the item is in the box. So when I return the item and I shut it, the, the, rat, the pie on the back will soon realize that the item has been deposited and it will refund me the money that I just paid.